good crowd for a Monday morning at the pharmacy. Ladies and gentlemen, the next president of the United States, Governor Chris Christie, and the Honorable Governor Hogan from the state of Maryland. and the, on behalf of being a business in this town for over 30 years, this is the focal point of business commerce. Yes. <laughs> we could stop everything, but we couldn't stop the phone. So, so when I heard that, my friend Wayne McDonald and Tom Calentuno told me that you like to have host the governor here, I, I was beside myself. I mean, Governor Christie in Hollis Pharmacy, with Governor Hogan, two, I was delighted. First governor, the way we'll start is usually, we'll have uh, the pastor, Mike Ratton, to give us a prayer this morning. Thank you very much. Let's bow our hearts in prayer. <clears throat> Father, we gather this Christmas season, uh, thankful for the gift of your son, Lord, and the, and the privilege of living in this great land. Uh, we are a nation born out of courage and sacrifice, a country founded on the principles of your word, the promise of freedom and liberty to worship as we please, to rear our children, of our human flourishing from the weakest to the strongest, from the most gifted to the least of us. But we are a needy people, a country, a world divided, many bent on destruction of others. For those who are suffering in this world, the persecuted around the world, we ask for your comfort and help. Loose the, the bonds and bring rescue to the oppressed. We are surely a, a world in need of strong and wise and godly leadership. And so we thank you for Chris Christie and for Governor Hogan and all who would serve this great land from our community leaders, our soldiers, our state and national leaders. We ask for the man or woman of your choosing. We ask that you would now give to Chris, Governor Christie, the courage to speak to us the truth, wisdom from above, to live out this truth in difficult time, to make the loving and hard decisions needful in our day. Unite us together. Bless this country with your grace, your gospel hope, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. 
please join the veterans that are going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Hold on. Say, arms. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order, arms. Thank you, thank you. Mr. <laughs> the governor is here for a treat. <laughs> and appreciate all you come here and support. I never believed how much Governor Christie was so famous and so I mean, unbelievable in this town and around around. I mean, it show was right here. First of all, Governor, what an honor and privilege to have our students to come here and be part of this Constitution event. First, we were saying it, it's a political event. Then we switched it to community event. Then they told me that the best word for this is constitutional event. With us, we have Principal Rick Barnes, which is right here. He's been here. Mr. Mr. Barnes, can you introduce yourself and the teacher you have and your students? Yes, I'm here with us. Hi, Governor. It's an honor and a privilege to have you here with us today. We have Mr. Trevor Duval in our AP uh, government class. How about, how about your students? Yeah, the students are in the AP government class. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, and, and Governor, we have Mr. Bob Thompson, who's the principal of the middle school, that he can't wait. Look at him. Look, he wants the microphone so bad. Look at him. It's unbelievable. <laughs> principal Thompson, can you introduce who is with you and your classmates? Absolutely. So on behalf of Hallsbrook Line Middle School, we'd like to welcome you uh, here today, Governor Christie. I have 12 uh, future world leaders here with me today. I'm very interested in getting a lesson in the democratic process. Yes, they're missing class, uh, but they're getting a great uh, civics lesson we'll instead. Make it worth your while. All right, thank you. We, we, we have with us one more school here, the Montserrat School, and Miss Harrington is the principal. Uh, is she around? Miss Harrington, please. Background, right? Mrs. Harrington, please introduce yourself and your school and your students. Hello, Governor Christie. We're uh, happy to see you here today. We have our 7th and 8th grade students from the Hollis Montessori School, led by um, Sarah Saladay and Lisa James. Thank you. Crop TV.